Here's a problem. You have to look up a word, let's say the word Google, in a dictionary. Pretty simple, right? Just flip to the page with the word and we're done. Only, we're not sure what page it's on. Actually, we don't even know if the word is really in the dictionary. What shall we do? Well, the simplest way of doing it is flipping through page by page. In this case, this will take 528 page flips, or about four and a half minutes. It's a lot of time investment for finding one word. So we'll try another method. How about cutting the number of pages in half each time? Flipping to halfway, then deciding whether the word was before or after, then flipping to halfway of the remainder, then continuing. This will take about 10 page turns, although it takes a bit longer to figure out where to check each time. So it'll take about a half a minute. Still, we can do better. By assuming that the number of words for each letter is about the same, we can come up with a pretty good guess for the location of the word. We land in the G's on the first shot, but it takes us a few more to find the page itself. Still only five page turns. However, it takes us a bit longer to figure out where we should be guessing. Is this method even worth it? This problem has a close analog in computer science, searching through a sorted list. We're trying to find an element in a list. Our first method, the sequential search, checks each and every element until it finds the desired one. This is slow and painful. The next method, called the binary search, splits up the list into halves each time. This is a lot faster, and as a result, the binary search is the most commonly used search. The last method, called interpolation search, guesses the position of the element by assuming linearity, then refines its guesses by approximating the location again and again. This project looks at when this interpolation search is better than other similar searches, such as binary search.